L3 Harris Technologies has introduced a cutting-edge series of launched effects vehicles designed to satisfy the U.S. Department of Defense's pressing need for versatile, cost-effective, and multi-domain munitions. Dubbed Red Wolf and Green Wolf, these new systems are a direct response to the growing demand for affordable mass capabilities, a concept shaped by recent combat experiences in Ukraine and the Middle East. Their debut coincides with a surge in strategic emphasis on long-range precision strikes and electronic warfare superiority, especially in the strategically sensitive Indo-Pacific region. These innovative platforms have the potential to significantly reshape the operational tactics of the U.S. military in highly contested theaters. L3 Harris has taken a leadership role in evolving U.S. strike and electronic warfare assets with the introduction of these vehicles. Red Wolf and Green Wolf mark the initial offerings in a new class of launched effects vehicles specifically tailored for kinetic and electronic warfare functions. Both vehicles share a modular design and can be deployed from air, land, or sea platforms. They boast speeds approaching high subsonic levels, operate at altitudes near 40,000 feet, and have standoff ranges exceeding 200 nautical miles. Red Wolf specializes in precision targeting of moving threats over long distances, while Green Wolf is equipped with electronic warfare payloads optimized for attack, intelligence gathering, and real-time target acquisition. Their capabilities include swarming tactics, cooperative mid-air maneuvering, and dynamic red asking, providing the U.S. armed forces with a flexible and scalable combat multiplier. The Wolf Pack program began development five years ago and has rapidly moved from concept to limited initial production. More than 40 successful test flights have demonstrated the system's reliability and adaptability. Manufacturing is centralized in a dedicated modular facility in Ashburn, Virginia, which is scaling up for mass production with hundreds of units anticipated annually. L3 Harris has invested heavily in automation and infrastructure enhancements to maintain low production costs over the long term. Close collaboration with Marine Corps and Navy aviation units has shaped the integration strategy, with early deployments planned on platforms such as the AH-1Z Viper attack helicopter and MH-60 Seahawk. When compared to older cruise missile systems like the AGM-158JASSM or the ADM-160MALD, Red Wolf and Green Wolf offer a dramatic reduction in unit cost, estimated between $300,000 and $400,000 depending on configuration. This cost advantage enables the U.S. military to field these munitions in larger quantities without sacrificing combat effectiveness. Green Wolf, in particular, promises to enhance or replace existing electronic warfare tools like the MALDJ, offering greater modularity and mission adaptability. Additionally, the vehicle's airframes are designed with optional radar cross-section adjustments, allowing operators to customize tactics for stealth or deception. From a strategic perspective, the deployment of these systems signifies a new approach to deterrence and operational design, particularly concerning challenges posed by anti-access-slash-area denial (A2/AD) environments, such as those developed by China in the Indo-Pacific. Their ability to launch precision strike and electronic warfare payloads from a wide array of platforms, ranging from helicopters and surface ships to future airborne pallets, presents a robust countermeasure to adversarial layered defenses. Their low-cost, high-effect design aims to overwhelm enemy interceptors, forcing opponents to exhaust costly resources and exposing vulnerabilities in their defensive networks. As their swarming and cooperative engagement features evolve, these vehicles could underpin next-generation doctrines for manned and unmanned teaming in combat. By launching Red Wolf and Green Wolf, L3 Harris is spearheading a significant shift in how the United States approaches multi-domain combat capabilities. The fusion of affordability, modularity, and operational flexibility addresses the complex challenges posed by modern warfare. With geopolitical tensions escalating, particularly in the Pacific, these launched effects vehicles may transform U.S. power projection, deterrence strategies, and the disruption of enemy defenses in future conflicts spanning air, sea, and land domains.